let's do this haul video that I have been a little delayed on getting out there. Um, first, just want to say, go Packers. Okay, if I lose some, if I lose some subscribers over that, I'm sorry, but gotta represent our, our Packers plan today on this Sunday. Granted that I get this video actually up the same day that I film it. Um, I have so much great stuff here. And what I do after I go and I find all this stuff, I log it into a spreadsheet so that I can track my most profitable places to purchase stuff to, to resell. So I have it broken down by the uh, store I went to, what I paid, um, what I'm going to list it at, and then what it sells for on what date, and all of my fees and everything. Um, this keeps me very data driven, as you will, in going forward and knowing where I should go back to and where the places I should not shop at anymore. And there are some of those I am finding as I've been doing this for the last few months. Um, one of the things I also do is I shop at auctions and I will be, I can't really film those unless I go, I, I do it online. So I can't really film that unless I actually go to an auction, which I will do one day for you. Uh, but um, I got some really good stuff. And that is the benefit of an auction is you can get some much higher dollar items that uh, people are actually selling instead of, as you will, discarding or giving away at a thrift store. So stay tuned for that haul video next week. All right, let's get to all of this stuff because I am surrounded by some really fun stuff. Uh, my first stop was the Goodwill Bins, uh, and you probably saw that video. If not, go check it out. Uh, one of the first things I picked up, I don't even know why I picked this up. Um, it's upside down. So it's made by North Point. It's just a... It's just a stadium seat. I don't know. Um, I thought it, it had to have been worth something. It tells you what I know. Uh, it's only worth about 10 bucks, so I'm going to sell that locally. But remember, at Goodwill Bins, you pay by the pound, and that weighs almost nothing, so I, I probably paid like a dollar for it. Actually, what I do is I take all of my purchases, that the, the number of items, and then I just divide that out by how much I paid. So uh, what I came out to was that I paid like $2.50 per item. But some of the items were much heavier that added to that total. But it's still the math works. Okay. <laughs> I love this thing. Heck, check this out. <laughs> um, I have a plush eBay store. All I sell in that store is plush. So this for me is like the find of the day. Uh, this is a gigantic flamingo. You can see he's here. He's looking at you. <laughs> he's big. I can't even get him like all on the screen at the same time. He's big. Uh, he's clean, surprisingly. His neck is a little floppy, but I can imagine that's how these things are. <laughs> But I should be able to get about 40 bucks just for this guy right here. Yes, he is awesome. And I don't care if he sticks around for a while until he sells. Because he's just awesome. Um, I was kind of excited I found this doll. Now, this doll was just laying there. And most people wouldn't know this was anything other than just a rag doll. But, check this out. Boom. She's two dolls in one, and they are called Topsy Turvy Dolls. Topsy Turvy Doll. Sadly, she's by Avon. Eh, eh, eh. Um, so she's not worth as much as I had hoped, but uh, she should still bring 10 bucks. You know, so that's not a bad flip. But be on the lookout. Topsy Turvy Dolls, some of them can sell for very good money. There's uh, storybook characters like Little Red Riding Hood and um, I forget some of the other ones, but some classic uh, fairy tale kind of story dolls and just make sure, look under their skirt. <laughs> make sure it's not two dolls because those can be good. Okay. Go over there, dear. Uh, oh, I actually, so my brother... Where'd he go? 
My brother collects Coca-Cola. Where did it go? Okay, <laughs> I'm back. Um, my brother collects Coca-Cola stuff. So I picked this up um, thinking I would just give it to him for a gift and found out if I were to sell it, I could get about 15 bucks for it. So uh, Goodwill had this. They had their price sticker on here from when it was at the store for $5.99 and nobody bought it. it. It's got a couple of condition issues. Nothing horrible though. So it's still, you know, it's still worth $15 to $20. But I will probably gift this. Just, just because. Because sometimes, sometimes I like my brother. <laughs> he does not watch my videos. <laughs> um... The thing about the bins is you can take some chances on stuff that's really lightweight. So I saw this little fur coat come out, and I saw the old, old Cabbage Patch uh, label inside. Again, this weighs almost nothing. This was probably a quarter, 50 cents at the most. Um, now, it has some condition issues, you can see, so I'm not going to be able to really list this, but I got to do some research and found out this is the fun fur coat for the Cabbage Patch. It's worth about five bucks. Um, better ones in better condition can be worth like ten dollars. So um, live and learn. Found that, found that lesson. You might have seen me pick these up on the video. Um, these are new in the package. And I volunteer in the children's ministry at my church. And sometimes we have accidents in the preschool room. So I'm actually going to donate these over to the church for emergencies. But what I did find out last night uh, when I was at the grocery store is these sell for about 12 bucks for the package. So, hey. Um, if I actually had a little one, that would have been a good score at the bins. Oh, uh, let's... Oh, I spotted this guy. Now, I just know from experience, this wood is teak. And teak is very desirable. Teak points back to, like, mid-century. A very popular wood that was used and goes into that decor. So I picked him up. Now, this was like the heaviest thing I got. Um, I would say he weighs about three, four pounds by himself. So logically speaking, he costs me like six bucks of what I spent, but I broke it all out and we're not gonna lay that all on him. Anyway, he is missing his tusks, which is a bummer, but he's other than that in really good condition and I'm gonna list him for $49.99. So he was a good he was a good item to pick up. He is vintage. <laughs> it's cool. Uh, and then I was so excited. I was so excited to not only find this next item, but find it undamaged. Uh, because it could have very easily been demolished in the bins. So, and I only saw, this. I, I was so focused on, on grabbing this. Actually, I saw this one first. I was so focused on grabbing this as quick as I could. I didn't even, like, really give it a, a look other than to see that it was in good condition. I recognize these because we have a gallery here at one of the local casinos that features this artist. And I know I have looked in that gallery at the prices, and they are not cheap. Um, it is uh, Will, how do you say it? Will Cor Cormier? Cormier? Cor I don't know how you say it, but there it is. Will Cor Cormier? Cormier. Anyway, <laughs> it's a print. It's just an art print. It is not, it's not hand signed by him, but we know who it is. And it's a really desirable uh um, subject matter. There's the word. So I grabbed this and when I got home, to my excitement, I flipped it over and there was a second print on the other side. So I've got two of these and these will be listed for $49.99 each. Each. Uh, and they should sell for that because this guy's stuff is not 
cheap. So yay. I am very excited about that. I actually bought one of the prints uh, to, for myself and had it framed because it looks like my daughter, Rachel, and it's actually called Rachel. Um, so that was exciting. Okay, so I spent about $20 at the bins, and I should be able to flip that into about $230. Okay, that was the first stop of the day. Then I went to a Salvation Army, and I got clothes, but you guys know I always do the clothes on a separate haul video, so I will not put you through all the clothes on this video. That will be a second video. So let's jump to the stuff that I got, and I'm looking past my camera to see what's first. Oh. All right, so I found this bowl, and you probably saw me do a double take. They had the price sticker, like, covering up the name, but I could see just a little bit, enough to know that there was Roman numerals. Roman numerals generally mean vintage when you see them. Even if you can't quite make out what the year is, I don't know of any companies that are using Roman numerals anymore. So that's kind of a, 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 a flag that this is a vintage item. This ends up being Shafford Original. You can see there. Shafford Original. It is a shell. Now... The major bummer, and I don't know why I didn't see this at the store, it's got a chip here, and it's got a chip here. So I'm a little bummed about that. So I'm going to put this on auction for, I'm going to start it at $4.99. I paid $2.99. So if I can get my money back, I would be perfectly happy with that um, because I did not notice those little chippity-dippities on there. All right. Oop. Don't break stuff, Danny. Okay. Stay. I'm telling you, I got stuff piled everywhere. Stay. Okay. Um, next, I've got, and again, beautiful picture, right? I loved the, the orange and the blue together and the black. It just, I loved this print. Uh, again, this was covered up, so I bought it strictly on what it looked like. This is a... Uh, T-S-A-T Paramount Ivory. It is vintage. There is your bottom uh, mark there. Um, I was very excited about this piece until... Where is it? Mm -mm -mm. It's also got just a little, little chip on the little footed area here. So again, it's not perfect. It's an as-is piece. It's going to go uh, on auction for a starting bid of $4.99. Again, hoping to get, I hope to get my money back and a little bit. I paid $2.99 for it. I started $4.99 because by the time you get the fees and all of that, I'd like to make just a little bit over what I paid for it, at least. Okay, I was uh, really excited to find this next set. This is by a company called um, Coventry Porcelain. Now, I didn't know that when I bought it, which you'll also see on the video. I just love that it says Faith, Hope, Love. Um, it is a Christian set. I have already uh, canisters that match this. So I'm really torn because I love it. It would go well in my kitchen, but I don't drink tea. Hmm. Therein lies the dilemma. So I've got the, uh, the cream, the sugar, and the teapot. The teapot. Um, and I got the three all for about eight bucks. And I can flip these into, are you ready for this? 80 bucks, 79.99 is what I will list this for and probably get it um, because this is a, a really sought after pattern and I can't even find the teapot anywhere. I can only find like either the cream or the sugar for like 30 bucks a piece is what they've sold for. So 
excited about that. If I drank tea, it'd be staying with me. But I don't drink tea, so that makes no sense. So we'll turn that into 80 bucks. Then, again, I don't know what was wrong with me that day. Um, but again, uh, you know me and cows, utterly good stuff, has to do with cows, so I'm kind of drawn to them. And this guy was just too incredibly cute to leave on the shelf. You can see he's just adorable. He's by a company known as Quarry Critters. They don't bring real high dollar, but they are really cute, and they do sell. What I did not notice, where is it? He's got a little booger. He's got a little booger on his knee right there. Um, so he will go on auction for two ninety nine starting price. Only paid a buck for him. And last but not least, at that store was this old Saint Bernard guy. He was a dollar on the shelf. Uh, he's kind of rough. Ha, get it? He's rough. Okay, sorry. <laughs> He's not marked on the bottom, but he is marked. Where did I find his mark? He's got a maker's mark um, right in there, which I can't quite make it out yet. I'm going to work on making it out. I think it's focusing on me and not on him. There we go. Um, bottom for a buck. I'm going to start him at auction at $2.99 and see what happens. All right, so that was the Salvation Army. Paid about, I didn't break it between the clothes and thing. I, I spent a total of $38 there and should be able to turn it all into about $247. And again, I'll show you the clothes on a separate video. If you're a clothes seller, watch for that haul video. That's where all the clothes will be. Okay, next. I went to a Goodwill right up the street from the Salvation Army. And uh, let's see, what did I got there? Where's my bag of balls? Oh, there they are. Okay, where did I know them? You know me, I love the baggies, love the baggies. I paid uh, $3.99 for this entire bag. Now, before I pay that, I counted how many pieces were in it, and there's actually one, two, three, four, five, six. There's six pieces in here, and I recognized one of them as being a Joseph original. This little guy. This little guy right here. Oh, oh there you go. Super cute, but he's tiny, okay? Um, just a cute cute little owl. So that made me justify buying the whole bag. I thought, oh, if there's one little vintage guy in there, there's going to be more. There is this, he's a wood carved owl. Ooh, why is it? Let's see. Get it off my face. Focus on him. Focus on him. Focus, focus. Okay. Um, he's actually made in China, so he's not that old, but he's certainly cute. And then there was a, a random little thimble thrown in there, which I'm not even counting that. This, I believe, is a Hagen Reniker. <laughs> if he doesn't jump out of my arms. Um, I believe he's a Hagen Reniker. I have not researched completely yet, um, but he has the look. He's the right kind of porcelain. Uh, he was glued down to a little paper like they do, so pretty sure that's what he is. There is a perfume bottle that was um, Candid Ultra Cologne by Avon, and it's an owl, okay, nothing spectacular, but it is also in the shape of an owl, and then this guy is actually blown glass. He's all blown glass pieces together. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put all five of these owl figures into one auction for a starting price of $9.99. And let's see what happens. Um, I I'm going for the quick flip these days instead of, they call it, I'm going to take the quick nickel as opposed to the uh, slow dime. That's the theory there. Flip it quick. Flip it quick. Can't go broke making a profit. You've heard me say that. Yes, could those things be worth individually, you know, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten dollars a piece? Certainly. But 
I got to do all the work to list them. It's, it's not enough to warrant my taking the time to list each one individually. And I'd rather put them all together and see where they go. Right? Okay. So next, look, look at my sheet here. Oh, Snoopy. Snoopy. I grabbed this off of one of the carts coming out. It is, don't forget to feed the dog. It is Snoopy with his little doggy bowl. And you've got Charlie Brown on the inside. It's made by Gibson. It is not going to make me rich, but I paid uh, about two bucks for it. I took the price tags off all this stuff. It was $2 and I can sell it for about 12. Okay, so there's that one. Um, next at that store, oh, this cute little owl planter. Where'd you go? I've got everything on the floor here. So sorry you're seeing the top of my head. Um, this is, somebody's whole owl collection was at this Goodwill, I'm telling you. So I really grabbed based on, um, I'm blocking my face so it'll focus on the owl's face. Uh, but he's really cute, right? And he is a planter, so he has a function. He is vintage. Uh, he is made by Kwan Kwan Company, Japan. Okay, there's his little label. I paid, uh, I think he was like, I want to say he was $2.99. $2.99, and I'm going to start him on auction at $14.99. Um, I would expect this to go for between $20 and $30 on fixed price if I was listing him fixed price. So we're going to see where the auction goes. Okay. Uh, also found this owl had the look. He had the look um, sitting on the shelf there, just looking at me, right? Turns out he is made by the Stone Bunny that company there. Yes, they are known for bunny statues. Uh, I did not know they made an owl, which is cool. He's dated 2012, uh, so not horribly old, but he's a neat owl. And I'm going to list him. I paid uh, $2.99 for him, and I'm going to list him for $14.99. So it's not going to make me rich, but that's a nice, healthy profit margin. Oh, where did I put the? Oh, there they are. All right, I got, I got a couple of goodies that I'm keeping, but I want to show you. Because uh, you saw me pick them up in the video. So I found these coasters. Now it turns out I looked up. This is by Mouseworks Art Photo Studios. So basically it looks like you send them a photo and they turn it into coasters. And these are whale tails. Okay. Which I am kind of a whale fanatic. It's like my favorite animal ever. Um, so I'm going to do my new back patio area at my new house that I'm moving into in like a couple weeks. I am going to uh, do like an ocean themed, you know, uh, original, I know for the backyard, but <laughs> you might've seen that great big giant fish sculpture I got in one of my videos a while back. Uh, that just might end up on the wall in my backyard just because I love it. And then I also picked up, I thought this was a spoon rest. Um, and I'm like, well, my kitchen is not ocean, so what am I going to do? But no, it's just a little trinket dish. And it is this iridescent mermaidy color. Mermaidy color. Is that a word? Anyway, I'm keeping this. Uh, I guess it's going to go on my little patio table just as, you know, decor. I don't know, set something in it. I don't know what yet, but I just like it. Um, if I was going to sell this, I could sell it for 12 to $15 because there are, are other people who are just as crazy as I am, uh, believe it or not. And then last but not least at that Goodwill, I just, these called to me, book plates are what's called, um, 
So the illustrations in some of the older books, they, they use these art prints, which are called plates. And sometimes the plates are actually like numbered on the bottom where this one, it has some writing, but it's not numbered or anything. Oh, wait, maybe it is. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's up here. Like it, it says page 128, blah, 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 blah. So it's referenced in like a table of contents in, in some books. So somebody thought enough of this to take the print out of the book and frame it. And this is, um, this one's called, it's called Maggot. Mago. Maybe it's Mago. I guess, I guess it's a kind of monkey. And then once I grabbed this, I saw his brother who is, um, this one's titled Manga B, A Collier Blanc. I don't know. And this was from page 256 of whatever book that was. So I got, got the monkeys. I paid, what did I pay for them? $4.99 a piece, so five bucks a piece. And I'm going to hopefully get about $39.99 each. So spent a little over $20 at that Goodwill. Going to flip that into $132. That was just the paper. All right. Uh, and then I went back to that little place called Castaways. And um, where is he? <sighs> so I found, got stuff falling. I found this donkey. And again, I'm kind of critter crazy. Uh, he's, he's actually really well done, even though he's resin. And the bottom is marked Peristone 1997 Anesco, and he was 297. So I picked him up, and he is worth about 20 bucks. I found out so Peristone by Anesco. I think he was part of a nativity originally. There was a cow that I didn't buy that was the same as him, and I didn't buy the cow because he he had a boo boo. And the cow with the boo-boo was no good for resale. Uh, then I found Mary Engelbright. Mary Engelbright, still a thing. People love Mary Engelbright. So this is a set of three photo frames, still brand new, sealed in the package. Priced it $2.97. You're going to be able to flip those for about 15 bucks. 12 to 15 is what I expect them to go for. Oh my goodness, this thing. Like, how do you say no to this, right? Um, I don't know if it's supposed to be Hawaiian or African. He's carrying this, this weapon. He's got little puka shells for eyes. And I think his teeth are like cut open puka shells or something. Or I don't know what his teeth are. They're like, I don't know. <laughs> And the hair is this, you know, this raffia. I mean, he's just, he's just cool. He is coconut husk and uh, who knows what else. He's actually really well done for a, for just a thing. Uh, he was two ninety seven, and I am hoping to flip him into, uh, you know what? I'm going to start him at auction because I have no idea what he's worth. I'm going to start him at auction at 10 bucks and let's see where he goes. Um, if I was going to put them on fixed price, I'd probably put them from 30 to $40 just because where are you going to find another one, right? And then I found this, um, it's Majolica. It is marked Italy. No, I lied. It's marked Japan, Italy. No. Did I look under the thing? No, there's nothing under the price tag. It was $1.97, so two bucks. It's it's very retro. I don't think it's quite mid-century. This was more of a 70s kind of thing, the grapes and the, the green colors. Still a good collectible piece. I am going to put this on auction starting at $9.99. And again, what did I say? I paid two bucks for it. There's that. Don't bump the camera, Danny. Okay, because then it wiggles. Oh. So you probably saw me in the video. I was like trying to make out um, who done it on this. It 
it is it was so obviously a vintage piece um, it is aluminum and the bottom does say chromex is what I found out it is chromex it is an ice bucket I pay three dollars and I will be able to flip that again I'm gonna start it at auction at $14.99 but I'm hoping it sells closer to 20 Um, and then, uh, true friends, true friends. Now there is a whole bunch of this kind of candle out there in different breeds of dogs and such. This happens to be the Westies, the West Highland white terriers. And I'm going to list this at $14.99 and I paid three for it. It's not worth doing auction on um, because there's too many of them out there and I'd have to start the auction way cheap. So I'll just put it at fixed price and wait for the right buyer. And then we have the, oh, these Nortaki bowls. I found two of these. They have such a beautiful color and it, I just, you know, they drew me. That's one of my things is like, Stuff just kind of like calls to me from the shelves. Uh, they were a buck a piece. And then I looked at the bottom like Nortaki stoneware. Hmm. So for me, and I've said this in, in my groups and things, for a dollar, if they are worthless, the value of picking something like this up for a buck and bringing it home is priceless. Because in doing that, I have learned that Noritake has a stoneware. I've learned some of the different patterns. This one is Boulder Ridge. Uh, and I've learned that these are worth about $15. <laughs> so I'm going to put my $2 into $15, but I got a little education. And you know what? Worst case scenario, I like these. I would use these. These are really pretty. I would actually look for more of this and put it on my table. So. So there is that. This is silver inlaid. What I didn't notice is it's a little rough condition wise. It is missing some of its silver. Probably somebody scrubbed it, you know, they like used it and scrubbed it. Like we would never do that now, but somebody did. Um, paid $3 for this. And I should be able to flip this for at least 10 bucks at auction. I'm going to start it at $9.99 and let's see what happens. And then you probably saw me pick up these adorable little birdies, salt and peppers. We've discussed this before. Cork bottoms, good, old, Mark Japan. This is lusterware. Uh, and I didn't even realize this until I got it home. I, I grabbed the holder when I saw it on the shelf so fast. I didn't even realize the holder is swans. Check that out. Just too cute. I mean, I don't quite know how the birds go together because these are like storks or pelicans <laughs> and these are swans. I'm not even sure they like hang out in the same place. But hey, who am I to question it? Um, I am going to auction these starting at $9.99 and I only paid a buck. I paid a buck. I was excited about that. And last but not least at that store, um, right at the end, I was just kind of perusing the Christmas stuff a little bit. And this was like inside, in like behind stuff. And I was just going to grab it because it was a Scotty Dog Wagon. Hello. And then I see that it actually is a Barrington collection. And it's called the Terrier Carrier. I cannot find another one listed. I can find a couple similar uh, styles, but not this one anywhere. So I am going to list this for $39.99 and I only paid five bucks for it. So very excited about that. So I spent about $25 at that store that I should be able to flip into at least $160. Not, not a bad day at the thrift store. And then 
what would a thrifting trip be without a little little stop at Savers? Now, it was 50% off day, and I was there late in the afternoon, so it was quite picked over. But I still, I still found stuff. And I want to put this little call out. So I always tell my kids when they say, I love you, I say, I love you more. That is our thing. I say I love you more. And uh, if you ever find anything that says love you more, I'm your customer, hit me up. Um, because I also love to leave them little, you know, little plaques and signs around the house to remind them how much I love them. Paid three bucks for this. It's Stan. Actually, I paid $1.50, right? Because it was half price. Um, okay. Where's my shrimp? Where are you, shrimp? Where did you go? I had to get creative in placing stuff around the room here to get it. Where is the shrimp? Oh, shrimp. Oh, there you are. <laughs> this guy was just too cool. All right. This is a charger, platter, tray, whatever you like, oversized plate, whatever you want to call it. I don't know. There. It's a shrimp. Um, I thought it was a lobster at first. It is not a lobster. This is a company called YY, YY, made in Japan. They make a whole line of these shrimp plates. I could not find this exact one listed anywhere, um, but running kind of comps based on other pieces, I should be able to turn this $3, 250 <laughs> 250 into about 40 Okay. Even though I hate, 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 hate shipping large plates and platters. They are the worst. Found this pair of Libby, Libby glasses. I could just see from the shelf that they were vintage. They were pastel colors. They were uh, 75 cents each with the half price, so that's like a no-brainer. They do have the Libby mark on the bottom, which I'm going to try to show you. Let's see if you can, if I can get the angle right. You can see Libby, Libby, Libby on the label, label, label. Ooh, did I just date myself on that one? I don't know. Can you see it? It's tough. It's tough. There, maybe. Yeah. So there's like a script L that stands for Libby. I couldn't find a set of these anywhere. I can find like different colors um, in like complete sets and things, but based on what I saw, I should be able to get about $15 for these two glasses. Libby, Libby is usually a good bet. Stay. Uh, but, oh, I don't even have that. But I bought a baggie that had like some little miniature straw bales in it that I'm putting away with my nativity because my stables need straw for baby Jesus to keep him warm. Um, uh, where's my, oh, where's the kitty? Here, kitty, 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 kitty. Again, I'm critter crazy. So this is very realistic looking cat with the blue eyes. It's quite heavy. Uh, it is... Sandy cast. They made a whole line of this stuff. Um, I paid five bucks for him because it was half price day. It was originally priced at ten, and uh, he will go in a flat rate, which helps on the shipping on the heavy items. So I am going to ask uh, nineteen ninety nine on this guy because he's so heavy. It's going to cost somebody a few pennies in shipping. So I'm trying to be nice. Um, Bought some clothes for myself. <laughs> yeah. Where's that? Oh, I'm going to save that for a minute. Uh, this, I always say, you know, check out the vases and the planters. They put everything together. They, a lot of times, don't know they have something vintage. This one just screamed, like, 1950s to me from the shelf. And um, sure enough, it's not 1950s, but it is 1978 made by Arnell's. And it was uh, half price, so it was two bucks. And I should be able to flip that. I'm going to start it at auction at $9.99. So I'm going to take uh, two bucks and turn it into at least ten, I hope. 
should bring closer to, you know, 15 to 20. I lose my place on my cheat sheet. Ah, there it is. Uh, then I also found this cute little miniature teapot that is lusterware. It's a blue lusterware, and it's got birdies, and it is made in Japan. I'm not holding that upside down. Made in Japan on the bottom. Paid $2.50, and I am going to auction this starting at $9.99 as well. If this was going on fixed price, I'd put it for about 20 bucks. Why do I start the auctions lower than I expect to get? Um, because I'm trying to attract more than one bidder and get people excited about winning the item. Because a lot of times if you can get at least two bidders going, you can get more than you would have gotten putting it on fixed price. But the key is you have to get a couple of people that want to battle it out and win. All right, um, I, you know, I'm really tempted, whoa, I have an avalanche going here. I was really, I was really tempted to keep this after finding out how handy it was for bringing all of my stuff home. This is like this really big oversized sewing bag. I don't know if it, I'm, I'm assuming it was handmade. It is quilted. It is really incredible and strong and I loaded this things because savers doesn't give out bags anymore so I literally filled everything I just showed you I crammed into this bag and felt very confident it wasn't coming apart um, it's got a snap at the top here it's got it's even got like a zippered compartment inside it's really really nice and the print the print is adorable too let me show you. See? Um, this is really cute. So I'm still torn on whether I'm going to keep this or not. But I paid $4 for it. And if I am going to sell it, I'm going to list it for about 30 bucks. So, uh, if I could get 30 bucks for it, I think I could let it go. Otherwise, it's going back to Savers with me to load up again. Because it came in really handy. All right. Last thing I was going to show you. Oh. Again, one of those screaming at me from the shelf kind of items. How many of you would have picked this up? For one dollar. One dollar, right? Pretty, right? Yeah? Well, it's got a very interesting mark on the back. Let me see if I can show you. It's an R in a circle with a crown. Now, I'm fairly certain it is the mark of the, uh, it's called the Faience Company. And if that is the case, this plate is worth some moolah. Because uh, that company, nothing sells cheap. So I am going to put this on auction. I just don't know yet what I'm going to start it at. Because it could be rare. Um, so I'm still trying to figure that out. I mean, the colors, oh, the colors, guys, look at it. I don't know if they're really coming like, oh, they're just so beautiful. Um, so yeah, I kind of want to research just a little bit more and I will probably start this on an auction at either $49.99 or $29.99, um, depending what I find out, but not counting this plate. Um, I spent 40 and everything else comes out to about $125 in flip value with a possibly another $50 in there as well. So that is the plan. And that is the haul from this week. Um, again, I will do all the clothing in a separate video for you clothing and Poshmarker sellers and um, had a lot of fun doing this. It's all going to get up on eBay <laughs> as quick as I can in between packing and getting ready to move. Uh, I have exciting stuff coming with these videos. Uh, stay tuned because I'm going to be filming my shipping and photography and all of the different pieces of running a business. So you can learn from those as well. And uh, of course, the thrifting and the haul videos are going to keep coming. 
So hit that subscribe button, give me a thumbs up, like button if you liked what you saw, and feel free to leave me comments. I do answer them all. And with that, go be profitable and make it fun. We'll see you on the next one.